Hello and welcome back to my course Chess Strategies Learn Tricky Tactical Chess Maneuvers. And today's lecture topic is Destroying the Pawn Carver. And this puzzle is more interesting. This position is really difficult because of many pieces on the board. What can we see on the board? White attacks Black King with a Queen, Rook and two Bishops while black defends with knight on f6 and three pawns. How would you play for white in this position? You may pause this video and think a little bit. It's obvious that you should destroy pawn cover around the king. To join the black square bishop on e5 to the attack, you should open the main diagonal. That's why it's quite logical to destroy g7 pawn. Let's calculate this combination. Rook takes g7, king takes g7, queen g4 check, using the fact that black knight is pinned. If black moves the king to h6, white will play queen g5 checkmate. That's why it's better to move the king to h8. What move to make for white right now? Black king seems to leave the dangerous area, but white may play queen to h5, attacking h7 pawn and threatening a checkmate, while black knight on f6 is still pinned. The only move is king g8, then bishop takes f6, bishop takes bishop, and queen h7 checkmate. What if black doesn't take a rook on g7, but play another move? Then white can play rook takes h7, check, king g8. Queen g4, check, knight takes queen, and rook h8, checkmate. Please note that in the beginning of this puzzle we chose a move rook takes g7, not bishop takes h7. Because rook g7 destroys not the only pawn but also helps to pin the knight on f6 and this knight is no longer able to defend the king. Thank you for your attention, we will go further in the next lecture.